What's up YouTube, Girl Supper Plays here, back with another video. Today, I am going to be making another video. Except, um, this is going to be, like, you know, like, you know the video of primaries that I did? Well, now I'm going to be doing secondaries. And, um, yeah. Well, um, sorry I didn't have a video in a while. Like, um, haven't, probably haven't uploaded one for about a week. So, I'm pretty sure, um... This might pay back, I guess. Anyways, going going to our first gun. Or or weapon. First weapon I'm gonna review is the regular starting pistol. It's the most expensive gun in all of Reason to Die. Yeah, you guessed it. Zero dollars. It's free and it really is a bad gun. Um, you can't even kill stalkers in the clip, and they only have 50 HP, but I will review zomb zombies pretty soon. Anyways, this gun just makes me cry, because this thing is horrible on tanks. And, um, yes, I did get wrecked by, by this starting pistol when I was a tank once. The reason why is because I only had, like, I don't know, like, 20 HP, because a freaking RPG shot at me. But anyways, that is the starter handgun going down to our next weapon. Next gun, I mean, next weapon I'm going to review is the tin pot, which is actually, um, like, you know, $500. It's not a lot. It's, it's cheap. It's, it does no damage to zombies. It's sure it says 12 damage, but it doesn't do anything. Like, literally anything. And yes, it's FFA. You want to see? See? Damages them. So, yeah, it's actually fair. Come on. Anyways, yeah. That's the tin pot. It's a horrible weapon on FFA. I don't know why I brought it, but whatever. Next, next weapon is... Next weapon I'm gonna review is the, um... Crowbar, which is kind of more expensive, it costs three thousand five hundred dollars. It ain't technically a lot, but um, it's actually a pretty decent weapon, actually. Like um, it damages normal zombies pretty good. Um, it's hard to hit cave bats with, as you see. It's very hard to hit them, but. If you actually are able, you could actually be able to kill them. Um, it ain't a bad weapon, but it's also not a good weapon. And going down to our next weapon. Next weapon I'm gonna review is the baseball bat. Baseball bat does 20 damage, I think. Um, and it does 20 energy. So, um, um, it actually is another not bad weapon, actually. It's actually a very good weapon. Because, um, like, um, it stuns zombies, like, pretty easily, and, um, it, yeah, it's hard to hit bats with. Um, uh, same with the crowbar, and the bat, it, the bat is three, yeah, same price as the crowbar, 3,500. Um, not that great for tanks, because it doesn't do anything. But, yeah, going down to our next weapon. Next weapon I'm going to review. That actually kind of hurt. Um, it's the Colt M1877. Um, it's actually a pretty good gun. Um, does 55 damage per shot. Um, my, my goodness, can you stop, please? Um, And then, well, yeah, it's it's not really a good gun, but, um, yeah. Going down to our next gun. Next weapon I'm reviewing is, um, a, a, a weapon for $3,000. Um, it ain't that, that good, actually. It's called the crossbow, by the way, if you didn't know. It takes a long freaking time to reload, but um, 
It's actually a pretty good weapon for starters. Not so, not so much um, uh, for pros because. See, I just died there. It's not really that great of a weapon because it takes about five seconds to start. Like, you know, once you shoot it, you take five seconds and then, and then, like, you know, it blows. Wouldn't recommend it, but if you get it stuck to the tank and you run away, the tank is obviously gonna get damaged and it'll probably get flung off the map. Mm, yeah. And going down to our next gun. Next weapon I'm gonna review is the Rambo Knife. The Rambo knife does 55 damage um, per, like, you know, per slash, and um, 100 damage when thrown. Um, yeah, you can throw this weapon. You can also even do. You can also even do a Rambo knife jump if you, like, you know, zoom in and throw it at your feet, like, yeah, like that. Except it could make you jump super high heights, like, um. Enough to, like, you know, you could basically get to high places on this map, on, with this. Like, um, watch this. Oh, okay. Yeah, sometimes you might fail. But, um, man, I love this weapon, trust me. It was one. Sorry, I meant to say secondary. Um, yeah, I, I love this weapon, and it's for 22k. Um, sorry, I accidentally stopped the video right there. <laughs> um, it's an amazing weapon, and I personally love this weapon. Trip zombies, just mow them down. Anyways, going down to our next weapon. Next weapon I'm going to review is the MP5. A weapon for 20, 22,500. Um, it's a pretty good combo, actually, and it's not that bad on the tank. It does 800 damage on the tank. Um, look how it is on normal zombies, it actually ain't that bad, but I just wasted a lot of ammo right there. Um, it's a pretty good weapon against tanks, um, especially if you have the China, like, just trip them and then, like, you know, just try to kill them. Um, so yeah, going down to our next weapon. Next weapon I'm going to review is the katana. The katana has a lot of damage. And um, it's an absolutely great free-for-all weapon. Basically, if you um, are... Fi the only thing that will take it out is another katana. It's an amazing weapon. Especially on tanks. Um, if you are fighting a tank, you'll pretty much kill him. And, um, yeah. Amazing weapon for the price of two, two thousand, two, twenty-five thousand, yeah. And, yeah, going down to our next weapon. Next weapon I'm gonna review, the chainsaw. The chainsaw is extremely OP, and, um, it's absolutely a pretty good free-for-all weapon. Um, well, um, yeah, it's a great free-for-all weapon, and a great tank shooter as well. Like, um, if this tank would actually just want to face me. Watch this. Did you see how fast I wrecked that tank? Well, yeah, I just killed myself. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we're going down to our next weapon. Oh, yeah, it wrecks tanks in, like, I don't know, like, less than five slots. Less than... Probably even less than four. Um, but, um, yeah, we're going down to our next one. Oh, yeah. 45 damage. 40. Yeah, about 45 to 50 damage per slash. Um, it does about five 500 HP per, per slice. And, yeah, Rex tanks super quickly. I easily recommend it. Anyways, going down to our next weapon. 45k, buddy. Going down to our final weapon, and this is gonna be the, uh, RPG. Um, RPG costs 7k, 70, 70k, sorry. It's, um, 
It's a very, very powerful weapon. The only problem I have against it is that, like, you know, uh, you can't refill it. And that's pretty much my big problem. But look at that. The RPG does a lot of damage. So absolutely. Well, if it wasn't free for all, it would definitely be my number one favorite. But as you see, I ran out of ammo, and I'm not doing that great. But I did end up getting, like, you know, a little bit more kills. As you see, I got that kill. And that thing flings me off the map. But anyways, the RPG, as you see, I got two kills right there. But, um... Yeah, RPG is actually a great, um, like, you know, weapon to use. Because it is absolutely OP. If you ask me. Um, yeah, but I actually have a bonus for you guys. The last weapon is actually kicks and punches. I know it may not sound like a melee weapon, but also the other melee weapon is actually gun pushing. Like, you know, first press shift and you should push him. Um, basically you just do that, but it doesn't work on tanks, sadly. In fact, just watch this. <laughs> As you see, I'm just trolling this tank. Like, I'm um, just having a little fun. As you see, it's actually pretty easy to dodge just one tank. But, um, if you're trying to defeat a horde of tanks, you probably won't. Yeah, as you see, I just died there because there was two tanks and like no one threw a rock at me. But whatever. Um, yeah, that's basically the last melee weapon. <laughs> or yeah. Anyways, this has been Secondary's reviews. I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more videos. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And see you next in the next video. Bye.